Hello and welcome. In this video, we will explain how you can create a histogram with a normal distribution curve in Excel. If you are only interested in creating a histogram, you can watch our other video on this topic called Excel histogram. There we use an easier way to construct a histogram than we do in this video. Here we need to use a different approach for the histogram construction to be able to add the normal distribution curve to the graph as well. On this sheet we have 5000 observations of the height of students at the local university. We are interested in the underlying distribution of the dataset and whether or not it corresponds to a normal distribution. So we will create the histogram together with a normal distribution curve. First we summarize the 5000 observations into a histogram table. This table outlines the bins and corresponding frequencies. There are two ways to build this histogram table. You can do it yourself by defining the bins and then counting all observations within one bin, or you let Excel create the table. In this video, we opt for the second manner. To do this, we need to use data analysis under data and analyze. If this is not on your screen, you go to file, options, add-ins, select go next to manage Excel add-ins, Check the Analysis tool pack and press OK. Before we can ask Excel to insert a table, we first need to define the bins. Here we choose to start at 150 and then jump by 5 to 200. Now we navigate to Data and select Data Analysis. A menu opens where we select Histogram. We press on OK and the Histogram menu opens. Here we select range C3 till C5002 as the input range. Next we define the bin range as range F3 till F12. We have no labels selected, so we keep the labels box unchecked. Finally we tick off output range and write G2 in the text box. This makes the histogram table appear on this sheet in cell G2. We click on OK and see the table appear. From the table, we can read that 15 students are smaller than or exactly 150 centimeters. There are 92 that measure between 150 and 155, including 155 centimeters and so on. Now we are ready to start creating the histogram and normal distribution curve. First we select the data, navigate to insert, and select scatter with smooth lines and markers. The graph appears on the screen. First we will change the chart title by selecting it and typing student's heights. Next we adjust the x-axis such that the curve is bigger and more centered on the screen. We double click on the x-axis such that the format axis panel opens. Here you go to the three bars icon, click on axis options and change the minimum and maximum to respectively 145 and 205. In the next step we click on add chart elements error bars, and more error bars options. The format error bars panel opens, and you can click on the three bars icon. Here you select minus, no cap, percentage, and set percentage to 100. You see lines on the screen at every bin, now we want to turn them into bars. To do so, you navigate to the paint bucket and increase the width of the lines. We set it to 40 for example. Now we are ready with the construction of the histogram. We only need to remove the curve from the chart before we start with creating the normal distribution curve. To remove the curve, we click on it. This opens the format data series panel. Here we can select no line in the line section. Under marker, we navigate to marker options and select none. The only thing that is left is to remove the endpoints of the error bars. To do this, we click on it to select them. Right click and select delete. The histogram is done now. Let's start adding the normal distribution curve. To construct the curve, we first must define the data points. We will compute the corresponding y values to the x values between 145 and 205, as this covers the entire x range of the histogram. To compute the corresponding y values, we first use the norm.dist function to compute the normal probability distribution curve. So we type equals norm.dist of the x value in cell E22, then the mean in cell F17, which we fix using the F4 button. 
Next we insert the standard deviation in cell F18, which we also fix with the F4 button. And finally we insert false to indicate we want a probability and not a cumulative distribution function. We drag the formula down. Note that the area under the normal distribution curve is 1, while the area of the histogram is 5000 times 5, since we have 5000 observations, and the bin width of 5. So we need to correct the y values for this. We select the first y value, at times 5000 times 5, and drag the formula down again. Now we are ready to add the normal distribution curve to the chart. This can be done by selecting the graph, then chart design, and pressing on select data. We click on add, insert the x values in range E22 till E82, and the y values in range F22 till F82. Next we press on OK. To visualize the curve on the chart, we select Change Chart Type and select Scatter for example. We would like to have a solid line now instead of the dots, so we double click on the curve such that the format data series panel opens. Here we select Solid Line, Underline, and under Marker we select Marker Options and None. Let's turn the line orange to make it a bit clearer. We go back to line and select the color we want. As you can see, the curve is a bit offset to the left of the histogram. This is because we use the endpoints in the bin's x values rather than the midpoints. To change this, we insert a new column and add the midpoints of the bins instead of the endpoints. Next, we click on the histogram and drag the purple square representing the x values to the midpoints. The graph is now how we want. This concludes our tutorial on Excel histogram with normal distribution curve. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.